Right, it's about 10 past five. And, um, oh my God, I'm all over the place this morning. My ears are ringing, my head's pounding. Not from being drunk or anything, but obviously it's the first time the restaurant, or anywhere all over the UK, restaurants have been allowed to go and eat indoors. So they had a fucking net, it took two and a half hours for our main course to come out. So by the time we left the restaurant, it wasn't till like half 11, which is like two and a half fucking hours after when I'm normally asleep. So my body clock's going, I need to sleep, I need to sleep. And then up at five this morning, so I gave myself a bit of a lie in. But still, I feel fucking like I've been on the piss. Okay, so it's 7.49, done the morning routine, did the gym, had breakfast, about to go down to the boardroom now. Got about an hour before it starts, but I'm gonna nail an hour's worth of work. Got my communications done, do what I need to do. Um, got a meeting at half eight, then the program starts from nine. So we pretty much be, be stuck in that, talking fucking business. Place, mate. Get the fuck out. Oh, you're still <laughs> vlogging. James Boardman and that goddamn phone is doing my nothing. <laughs> this is too past for the skull, sir. I know. That's what he's going to say. This is all going to be stolen. All these water bottles. It is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's like um, three, tick, quarter past three. Um, just finished the first day's meet. Literally mind fucked after being up to midnight last night waiting for fucking dinner. I feel absolutely wrecked. So I'm going to have um, 45 minutes sleep here. I'm going to catch up. Otherwise, I won't make dinner tonight. I think we're going to hit some range balls, come back, do an hour's work, and then go and have dinner. Okay, so it's like five to four. There's nothing worse than waking up from a little fucking nap. I feel a hundred times worse than I did before the nap. But we're going to go and hit some range balls and then do a little bit of work. Okay, incredible meeting with um, the lady who's now running my ads. Um, incredible to be able to do this and take the business to a whole new level, which is gonna be exciting for sure. Um, desperately really wanna get out there and really help a lot of guys. We are going to be putting into place in the second half of the year about going into, um, moving into the US market um, and helping guys out in the USA as well as the UK. This is the start of the man coach takeover, if you like, um, and not having any self-limiting beliefs about what we can achieve in terms of helping guys. So I really hope this all kind of all comes together now. We can get some consistency. I'm really excited about like helping men all over the world now and really taking the message that we have and taking it out there and, and really changing the game really empowering men to believe that they are good enough and know who they are and know the direction that they're heading, which is really, really important. Um, so yeah, exciting. So I've got uh, an hour before pre-lunch drinks. I'm going to have a quick half an hour in the sauna um, to detox from the mind fuck of meetings today, which has been really exciting, don't get me wrong, and the air con blowing in my face. Um, <laughs> Uh, and wake myself up a little bit, ready for socialising tonight. Check out that for a view. That's a serious fucking sky. 